The common hawthorn is a native shrub and can be found throughout the British countryside and is also planted in urban parks and sometimes gardens. As well as growing as a free growing shrub, it is also used in hedgerows that line many miles of farm fields. In late spring they become full of scented white blossom with clusters of small flowers on arch stems. They are also known as Maythorn and May Blossom that reflect the month when they look their best. In autumn the bushes are full of red haw fruits that wildlife use as a food source in the cold dark months of winter. The Woodland Trust say that hawthorn can support up to 300 different types of insect and is a food plant for a variety of moth caterpillars. The flowers attract pollinators and are also a source of food for dormice. The haw fruits are popular with birds such as redwings, fieldfares, thrushes, greenfinches, yellowhammers, chaffinches, blackbirds and starlings. It's a great choice for a wildlife friendly garden and also suburban areas looking to increase their wildlife habitat. Hawthorns can live for many centuries. One of the oldest in Britain, Hethel Old Thorn in Norfolk, is approximately 700 years old. They can grow up to 15 metres tall and can be pruned to make a wildlife friendly hedge or just grown as a shrub. If their low branches are removed, they can make a small tree, which is ideal for residential gardens. Here we can see a hawthorn being used as a field boundary hedge and kept compact and low with pruning by a farmer. This country hedgerow and wildflower verge could be copied and used in urban areas quite easily, in gardens, parks and roadside verges. Hawthorn planted in a line and pruned will create a hedge and grass in front of it can be mown just once in spring with wildflower seeds scattered then in autumn with the clippings cleared to prevent the soil getting too rich. With its dense thorny branches it makes a good security hedge for perimeters of homes and also business premises.